Tougaloo College was founded 144 years ago to provide educational opportunities to all persons, regardless of race, ethnicity, creed, gender, or religion, especially those who were disenfranchised due to slavery. Education was offered in the most liberal context with consistent emphasis on academic excellence and social responsibility. Since its beginning, Tougaloo has been a transforming agent of change and a dynamic engine of cultural, social, and economic mobility for the people of our region, state, and nation. Tougaloo serves as the public square to thousands of visitors who come to our campus to participate in forums, commencement, founders' observance, other convocations, the business luncheon, and special events. We create jobs and educate the workforce of the future. We support businesses through the procurement of goods and services. With over 200 employees with families, our spending power exceeds $200 million a year. Through the acquisition of research grants, combined in an annual budget of almost $30 million, this relatively small institution has measurable impact and value in today's knowledge-based economy. With Tougaloo's Owens Health and Wellness Center, the Tougaloo College Art Collections, and the Medgar Evers Home Museum, the college has always committed itself to the betterment of the surrounding community through service and access. The Owens Health and Wellness Center works in collaboration with other state, federal, nonprofits, universities, and other HBCUs. And the Delta Health Partners program is one uh, example of that collaboration that we do in the community. The primary goal of that program is to reduce infant mortality in uh, an area that has been recognized as having one of the highest infant mortalities in the country. Our goal is to expand the program even more to serve not just our clients, but the greater community within that same target area. We do several other community outreach activities. Uh, we do town hall meetings, we do health education workshops. One activity that we are in the process of doing, and that's the HIV AIDS forum, and that forum is a town hall meeting style discussion and it actually looks at HIV and AIDS as a civil rights issue. We do have a primary care clinic, a community, which is a community health center, full, fully staffed and, and it functions as any normal community health center. We provide primary care services, we provide dental services, we do screenings uh, in that clinic. The clinic is open to the community as well as to the students. We have a fitness center. Students who are enrolled in the college have access to that fit fitness center for free. The community would give us a membership fee to join, but uh, it is open to the public as well. In 2011, the college opened its newest academic structure, the Benny G. Thompson Academic and Civil Rights Research Center. The local firm Duval Decker Architects, PA, was engaged to bring to life the college's vision for this building as one that would foster the exchange of ideas by entangling students, faculty, art, visitors, and campus leaders in cross-disciplinary educational environments. Well, the Benny G. Thompson Building, of course, is a special building for Tougaloo College. It gives the art collection a home and invites the public in to use the building. So uh, the construction itself has a big impact. We get two or three hundred workers here over the course of a year and a half or two years. All the materials that are bought locally. This building is a sustainable building with um, most of its materials, if not all of its materials, have been all purchased within the state of Mississippi and built here. So the building itself is an economic engine in a way. The building also is, um, is an opportunity really to have the public use the building and to really raise Tougaloo's uh, profile within the community. Duval Decker Architects has also been engaged to reimagine the campus for Freedom Summer. The conference, of course, is the, the 50th celebration an anniversary of Freedom Summer. It is an important national and international event that will attract over 3,000 people to campus. The whole center of campus really is a civil rights museum in and of itself already. Anytime you can bring 3,000 people into a community, it's a tremendous impact in terms of its economic gain for, for the whole citizenry of Jackson. Tougaloo College has already started to expand beyond the land on which the college sits. Tougaloo owns and operates a fully functioning My Network affiliate in Jackson, Mississippi. WLOO My 35, also known as the Lou, is not just an income generator for the college. 
It also serves the community with public outreach. It's a really exciting time right now being a part of Tougaloo College. Uh, right now, Tougaloo is in the minority when it comes to the media and uh, communications market because there are only two colleges in the country that has its own high-powered commercial television station. Only two. And Tougaloo just happens to be one of those two. So it's a very exciting time being uh, that Tougaloo actually owns WLOO, My35, which is a successful My Network affiliate and Solo South affiliate. We're looking at it from the standpoint of being able to make this particular station a revenue generator for, for the college in year two and year three. We're not trying to just maintain, we're actually trying to create. The latest economic generating endeavor of Tougaloo College is the development of the property along the County Line Road corridor, extending from West County Line Road northward across I-220 and bordering prominent developments along Highland Colony Parkway. We're very happy to work with Tougaloo College to help you with perhaps one of the biggest and most valuable assets that you own, your land. Today, we really want to talk to you about your core competency, which is education. And I'm very, very excited to say that your board and your leadership have looked at this land and said, what is it that we should do with this land? And we're very, very proud to be your partner. Not only can you be and are you an engine for the academic environment of this community as well as the state, but you have the opportunity now to also be an economic catalyst for further development of this valuable land that forms the gateway to your university. I think the whole goal is to retain ownership in some form uh, by the college, so that it is a continual perpetual uh, income stream. We've always done collaborations with the college, with other businesses, with other entities. I think that by the fact that we have, you know, uh, we have a large student body. I think also that um, just the fact of, of being affiliated uh, with a college actually actually helps in a, in, a, in a lot of ways because there's a lot of different cross collaborations that could, that could occur. Tougaloo has already made significant contributions to the character and context of the Jackson metropolitan area. Tougaloo has been a significant force for community and economic development. An institution like Tougaloo College has been at the forefront of really raising up our economy, raising up our people, and raising up our state as a better place to be. That makes Tougaloo in the sweet spot location-wise of serving a growing business environment because of what's happened in both Hines and Madison County. Its geographic location to be able to serve both of those growing markets well is ideal. Tougaloo is right smack dab in the middle of where it needs to be to make a meaningful difference and continue to make a meaningful difference. So we're excited about the prospects that are there and it becomes a key tool for economic developers. The opportunities that we hear of in Tougaloo's long range planning to look and say, how can we use our campus as a center for attracting housing, for a center for attracting more commercial development, as a center for building out the economic capacity of the area around Tougaloo is exciting. As we are fond of saying at Tougaloo College, the best is yet to come. Tougaloo College has a very critical mission in our nation. You're preparing the next generation of leaders, not only for Mississippi, for our nation, and for that matter, the world. Many of the great minds that have been and will be trained here will make great contributions. What you're doing with this project will make sure that you have the financial resources that you'll be able to accomplish those goals and attract retain and graduate. That is your mission, that's what we want to help you do, and we're happy to be a part of the Tougaloo team. As we look to the future, we will continue to build powerful partnerships with our business and civic community to expand the best learning opportunities for our students. We will strive to be an even more effective center of cultural and intellectual richness and an instrument of upward mobility for the people of our region, state, and nation. And through the transformative power of education, we want to meet our responsibilities as an exponent of higher learning and that necessary engine of opportunity which converge to contribute to a flourishing world economy and a dominant world democracy. Mm -hmm.